What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is CT here and today I am back with another video for you guys. Today we're talking all about the brand new Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. So I'm going to be giving you guys first impressions, application, wear test, all that good stuff. So if you want to see all that, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Tell me what did you run from? Tell me why did you run from? Go ahead and jump right into it this foundation retails for up $40 and it does come in 35 shades I believe I picked this one up myself in store so this is the only shade I have with me fingers crossed I really hope the shade works out um, let me just go ahead and prime my face right now the only thing I have on my face is a moisturizer so I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my face for for whew, for the foundation application and if you oh oh my gosh i just sprayed that all into my mouth anyways and if you are a beginner and you're still you know struggling with like getting the perfect foundation getting the perfect base i do have a super detailed shade matching undertone skin tone all that super detailed foundation tutorial on my channel so be sure to check it out so today i'm not really gonna go into much details um so yeah i'm priming my face oh that spray was the makeup revolution hydra matte fixing spray um, now I'm priming my face with the Revolution Pro um, Hydra Matte Primer. And honestly, they usually go hand in hand. Whenever I use um, the setting spray, I end up just using the primer just to keep it all in one family. Now, this foundation um, is a matte foundation and I do have combination skin. So I'm excited to see how it really holds up. If you watch my foundation video again, you remember that I mentioned that I had the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. I really love the finish of this foundation, but I just could never, what am I doing? Why am I spraying the foundation on my hand? Um, but I just could never find a good shade match. So I really hope this one works and I really hope that I like the finish as well. So. So it does claim to be all controlling, all free, waterproof, transfer resistance. Hmm, these are really hefty claims. And I picked mine up in the shade Coco um, for shade reference. And I am a Fenty 450. I am a um, Bare Minerals Cappuccino. I am a, gosh, I can't think of my foundations. Um, I am a Huda Beauty coffee bean. You know what? I'm gonna have all my other foundation shades in the description just so you can use it as a shade reference So yeah, I have my face primed now. We're gonna go on and apply this foundation I'm gonna be using a sponge um, I'm actually considering whether or not to use you know what? I'm gonna be using a sponge on one side and then I'm gonna use a um, brush on the other side just for the heck of it I can't rem I don't think I haven't read anything about Honestly, I haven't read much about the coverage, so I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage. Um, yeah, it just says undetectable super long wear foundation. So yeah, we're, we're gonna do br uh, sponge and then brush. So let's get into it. So the first prayer of the day is that hopefully the shade matches me. I hope this is a good shade match. Okay, so I had two pumps. Okay, so this is what that shade looks like on me. It is described as, I just checked, and it's described as deepest with neutral undertones. For me, honestly, that description does not match what I have on my face because if this is considered deepest, that's just not going to work. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand just so you guys can see the difference between this one and another foundation that I um, currently wear. Okay, so actually looking at it side by side with one of my other foundations, so this one um, over here. The first one over here is actually my um, NYX Can Stop Stop Foundation in the shade Deep Rich, and and the other one, um, the one right next to it, this one over here is the um, Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. Now, actually looking at it side by side, I can see a lot more warmth um, than neutral in the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. So that's just something to keep in mind. And the description on the website is not 100% accurate. And I'm not shocked at this um, because this happens a lot. 
but yeah I can totally make this work though like I was saying um, it does still kind of match my face but um it, my neck is a whole other story so that's when i'm actually going to go in and fix it with contour so let's just go ahead and apply it with a um brush on the other side and as far as the coverage um i'm not going to say it's going to be your super super full coverage foundation it is uh, most likely going to be buildable but i can see the det undetectable that they're talking about because honestly it feels super lightweight like if this was like my perfect shade you wouldn't even know that I have foundation on like just like wow her skin is beautiful so I can totally see the undetectable um so let me just go ahead now and um, apply the other side with my brush oh yeah can you guys that is not neutral and that's the problem I had with my other wow that's not neutral that's the problem I had with my um, other Too Faced foundation as well it's like I love Too Faced but for some reason um the shades i just haven't been able to get a good shade match also i haven't used a brush to apply my foundation in the longest time it kind of feels a little weird you definitely get more coverage with the brush of course that's expected so i'm not like shocked at that and I'm trying to blend it down to my neck as much as I can. So even though I, you know, apply with a brush, I still go over with a sponge just to melt everything into my skin. So brush, and then sponge. As far as the first impressions, um, again, the undetectable, yes. Um, does it apply smoothly? Yes. Is it? Does it feel super matte? No. Um, does it feel cakey or heavy or anything? No. So honestly, like, if this foundation was my perfect shade, like, I'm already loving it so far. The only thing I have to say so far is just that whole shade description slash um, just what it looks like. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. I'm very interested in seeing how it looks overall at the end, you know, with, like, my other products. But it is not bad, but I can just see that it's a little bit for this to be um described as deepest with neutral undertones the description definitely does not match what you get so yeah i'll just go ahead and continue my face finish up the rest of my face for um let me just contour really quick for con yeah for contour i'm using this elf um 16 hour camo concealer i'm not going to show you guys my full um full face process because I know a lot of you are really here for um, for the foundation and also I do have a super detailed again beginner friendly contour and highlight actually do's and don'ts side by side video here on my channel so be sure to check that out and you guys you see my lights like I just switched up a lot of my lighting recently and it just like you can't even lie because you guys can see everything I feel like <laughs> crazy okay, and then to highlight my face I'm gonna highlight with the Too Faced Born This Way um, concealers as well in the shade Maple and Chestnut oh and you guys a trick that I do especially when my foundation doesn't match my neck uh, you know when it's not like on point my concealer whatever I have left on my sponge when I'm like blending on my under eye concealer I actually put it put some on my neck <laughs> Put some on my neck as well i can't talk and do that um put some on my neck as well just so that my eyes will at least like that that area is still going to look a little bit highlighted it's going to brighten that up a little bit and it's actually at least going to match my under eye i don't put it all over my neck i just put it right right in the middle okay Okay, well, it's starting to look a little bit better, especially now that I have some contour on my face. Um, so I'll just go ahead and finish up the rest of my face really quick, and then I'll be right back, and I'll give you guys my first initial final thoughts, and then we'll start the wear test. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look. Um, it is currently, let's see, it is currently 12.07 p.m. 
So I'm going to give you guys at least a six hour wear test and then we'll come back and I'll give you guys my final final thoughts. But just right now, as far as first impressions, you guys can see it. It looks really, really good. Um, like the finish, the shade match could be better for sure, but I did manage to make it work. It's just slightly off. But I did manage to make it work. Um, as far as application, other products like the powder, the concealer, um, setting, so everything applied really well on top of it. I don't have anything bad to say, like really as far as the first impressions. I'm going to move in a little closer so you guys can see a closer view. Personally, I do like the side with the sponge just a little bit better. Maybe that's because I'm just so used to sponge application. Um, but this side definitely looks like, well, you can, there's like a little bit more coverage on this side. But I do like the side with the sponge. Um, and then, so on my eyes, I try to do something a little bit fun because every single time I do like a foundation review, I always do like a smoky eye or like just a simple winged liner. So today I was like, let me try to step out of my comfort zone a little and do something a little different. So I hope you guys like this look. Um, also on my lips, I am wearing the Too Faced um, Melted Matte Lip in Sell Out and I topped it with some gloss. So yeah, that's what I have going on right now. I'm going to be back in at least six hours and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So just stay tuned for that. Whew. Okay, you guys. So I just came back like these masks. Oh, my mask looks so gross. Like anyone else. What? What happened to my... <laughs> I just came back from running errands and I do not know what happened to my other earring. I hope I didn't lose it. Dang. All right, anyways, it is, what time is it? It's 7.16. Let me show you guys. So that's over seven hours now, and this is what my face looks like. I like ate, I went out, in and out, like in the sun, and I actually had to wear masks, so that's interesting. It actually did not do as bad, like as far as the mask area, I thought it was gonna do really bad. I always get nervous with masks, but so, this is what my face looks like right now and honestly you guys honest honest opinion if you have combination oily skin you're gonna love this foundation that's just my honest opinion like it looked so good i looked at my face it was like five hours in i think like yeah before i went out the second time and i was like what like my face looks so good it's it's a matte foundation but it's a satin matte it's one of those where it doesn't, you know, it's not gonna look super drying or it's not gonna look super patchy. It just looks like nice and soft. I haven't touched my face. I haven't done anything to my face at all. And keep in mind um, that I do have all these lights. So, you know, it's, these lights don't even like, they don't try to help at all. But even with the lights, like my face looks so good. I'm looking at, I'm like trying to look close into the mirror. And as far as actual oils, like seeping through, their shine, there definitely is shine, but maybe a tiny bit of oil over here. But even at that, like, very, very minimal, very minimal. And, you know, there's nothing on the size of my face that's normal. I do have combination skin. Um, so I'm going to blot my face. But before, actually, no, let me just go ahead and blot my face because I don't want to. Um... Wow, can you guys see that? Like barely anything. And I did not use a matte, I didn't use a mattifying setting spray either just because honestly like I do not like that matte matte look anymore. I don't know what it is, but I do not like that look. So yeah, my settings, I use the matte, no, the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray and that's like a nice glowy spray too. So keep that in mind, but what? You guys look at this. This is just with me blotting my face. No, it it looks really good, really good. So final thoughts, um, let me grab the foundation actually. Okay, so I'm just reading the um, claims one more time. So it says that it blurs away imperfection. It says that, um, well, 96% people said that it is weightless on the skin and 93% said it has undetectable coverage and 92% said it does not require touch-ups. 
honestly all of these I can I can confirm that they are true um, it definitely did all that it claimed to do the only thing I didn't really test was if it was whether or not it was waterproof so yeah um, is it worth picking up definitely the only issue would be the shades I since I did not really see the full shade range I can't really comment much on that um, this shade ended up it worked okay it worked okay it's still a little bit on the warmer side even you know after a few hours i can still tell and i took a couple of pictures and i could just see it like yes maybe i'll insert pictures in here but overall is it worth picking up even if you do have um especially if you have oily combination skin yes if you have normal skin or dry skin even honestly this is not going to bother you. I was talking to a friend who never really likes matte foundations and she absolutely loves this foundation. So definitely worth a try. This is it for my weird test. I really hope you guys, you know, this helps you guys decide on whether or not you need to pick this up. It still looks good. So I say go for it. So yes, I am all done. Now I'm about to go sit outside, grab this footage, sit outside. I picked myself up some pals. I grabbed myself a nice bottle of wine as well. I'm going to sit, chill, and just relax <laughs> i will see you guys next time with another video bye tell me what did you run from tell me why did you run from